Father John Brown used to serve as a priest at St. Mary's Catholic Church. He's 92 years old now. He lives in a nursing home in St. Paul, Minnesota. And pretty recently, a former altar boy whose name is Davis Pasusta, he came forward and he said, hey, you know what? Father John Brown abused me years ago, starting in the 1960s when I was about 10 years old. And what's incredible about this is that they actually went to Father John Brown and they said, this was a long time ago. You're 92. Do you even remember this? Can you address these allegations? And Father John Brown said, you know what? It's true. I looked at Pasusta's genitals and I had him expose his genitals to me, but I didn't actually touch them. It was almost like he describes like a medical interest in little boys genitals. It's very, very weird. Uh, Pasusta says that what happened is that Father Brown called him into the rectory to talk about the birds and the bees. And he says he was going to talk about the birds and the bees. Uh, so he was even then gathering confidence from my parents. So I went up there. We never talked about birds and the bees when I was young. And, and, uh, and when Brown was asked about this incident, Brown said years ago, when I was young and foolish, I did not abuse them. However, I looked at their genitals. I did not touch their genitals at all, though, was careful not to do, do that at all. It's stupid. I know that. But again, I look back. I didn't handle. I didn't fondle them. What on earth is going on here? Uh, he, so he just wanted to observe a 10 year old's genitals. And it's like, hey, listen, I didn't. I'm not I'm not crazy. I would never abuse children. I call them into my rectory and stare at their genitalia. That's it's, it's a completely different type of thing. Who knows if he's even telling the truth? This is kind of like the, the Bill Clinton. Oh, yeah, I, I smoked the weed, but I didn't inhale type of thing. <laughs> uh, I, I, you know, if this is the worst he ever did, uh, if he managed to restrain himself, well, maybe he's he's one of the better ones. But this is still, uh, you know, unforgivable and disgusting and yeah. insane. Well, about um, is this the only thing he ever did? Pasusta held a news conference to publicize these allegations because he wants a judge to unseal the names of 33 priests that the Archdiocese of St. Paul in Minneapolis say have been credibly abused of child sex abuse. Maybe there are more allegations against Father John Brown there. Do these stories coming out, Lewis, about specific abusers a long time ago, do these help to curb abuse going forward or do they really have no impact in your mind? I think they help because I think they help keep people away from the church, to be honest. Like I like I said before, I think that's really the only way to stop what's going on.